In this tutorial we're going to look at the different planes you can use to construct geometry in Grasshopper 3D. Um, all of these can be found under vector plane, so let's just pull out the XY plane, the XZ plane, and the YZ plane. And you can see the representations of them over there. For now let's just turn off the second and third plane and just keep on the XY plane. So let's just do a basic circle CNR I'll put the circle on that plane um, and then I'll use uh, a slider for the radius. Let's go to less than 40.00 so we can see this. Um, and there's my circle. And um, let's just do the same thing, but this time use the XZ plane. So I'll preview that on and we'll use the XZ plane for the other one. Now you can see when you make the circle, there's also the normal. So if I use the plane for the normal, you can see it'll then orient its normal, which is the perpendicular direction to the plane um, in relation to that plane. So if I preview these off, you can see that um, the XZ Z plane, which is this vertical plane here, um, if I use that for the center of the circle and the normal, it'll orient itself in relation to that plane, so parallel with that plane. Um, the YZ plane, we can do the same thing, so I'll just delete this component plug this one in there and also there and you can see it'll then orient if I preview that on orient according to the YZ plane. There are also other ways to create planes so if we go back to this plane vector plane category here you can see there's quite a few different ways to make planes if we pull out the plane three point we can make a plane using three different points so I'll just make three points in Rhino and let's just move these around a little bit so it's not oriented um, to the XYZ of the grid and then I'll bring these points into Grasshopper right click set one point right click set one point right click set one point and then I can plug these three points into this component you can see it'll make a plane that is oriented as if it's cutting through all three of these points. So if I do a circle CNR now and use this plane as both the center, or I could actually use one of these points as the center, doesn't matter which one, and then use the plane as the normal direction and then a radius, I can then build that circle in the same orientation as that plane. You can also do a plane fit, so if you have multiple points, like more than three points, it'll do an averaging of all of those. So if I bring in a few more points, let's set this one point here, and then set this one point, and then do plane fit right here, which is also again under vector planes. You can then plug all of these points into this one and we'll just average the location of all those and make a plane that averages those. Um, other things you can do is, um, let's instead of using these points that we already have built in Rhino, let's just go ahead and construct a point. So again, that's um, located here under vector point. And then let's give some values to these. Let's go negative 20 less than 20.00. So that'll be my X, Y, and Z slider. Just copy and paste that. And I'll just copy and paste that again and then just kind of toggle these sliders around until I have three points that aren't in the same location. Okay, or two points in, not in the same location. And so the next thing I want to do is make a line between these two points. And then I'm going to use the plane normal component, plane normal. So we use the normal of the plane to define where the circle, the orientation of the circle. You can actually define a plane normal just um, in space. So if I go to plane and then plane normal, I can use that line as the axis of that plane. So let's just put the plane on this point, which would be the origin point, And then we can now reorient it according to that um, line. So you can see now the direction of that is oriented perpendicular to that line geometry. So plane normal is really good if you're you know building objects on a surface and you want to find that normal of the surface which we'll do later. 
and then you can also use other um, ways to construct planes like you can construct a plane with a line and a point we have this line here and then let's say we have another point out here uh, and I'll just bring this in really quickly set one point you can see uh, it'll then create a point that uses that line and so you can see it is um, parallel to that line and then oriented or in relation to that point so this is really useful as you start to create geometry in grasshopper to start building additional geometry in your definition you'll use these constructed planes to orient that geometry that you're building